All right, let's talk about getting your trainer set up and ready to go, and then about the whole calibration process. So first things first, you need to hop on your phone and grab the Saris Utility app. Uh, just type in Saris Utility into your app store and it should be available on iOS and Android, no problem. Um, once you've got that downloaded, you need to connect it to your trainer. Um, and I'm just connected currently, so you're going to scan for sensors. Oftentimes it'll pick it up if your trainer's already going, but you need to pedal a little bit until the green light is on on your trainer. And then it'll connect here, as you can see. Um, once you've done that, we want to, at least initially here, we want to double check and make sure our firmware is up to date. So you'll go down on that bottom right, click firmware. It'll take you to this screen. Um, I've already updated mine, but it was not up to date um, initially. So double check this out of the box. You'll click install to set it up, follow the directions, and then uh, wait until it tells you that it's done and you can move on from there. Uh, and you'll want to do this every so often just to make sure uh, firmware is up to date, um, especially if you start having any weird issues. Go in here, check, see if anything's going on. Uh, once firmware is up to date, we're going to do a calibration. Um, the directions here are on the screen, but uh, don't get excited. Don't start pedaling yet. Um, as far as calibration, you want to do it here initially, and you want to do it about every month or anytime you move your trainer in a big way. Um, I personally do it about once a month, uh, and even sometimes when I move my trainer, I don't do it. And that's that's okay, right? Your numbers will be a little bit off, but definitely do it up front here um, and monthly if you can. Um, and we're gonna do we're gonna hit the begin calibration button. We are gonna wait. Um, this is key. You don't want to start pedaling too soon, otherwise it can send you too much resistance um, or kind of mess up the test. So we'll wait for it to kind of go through these instructions, enter the calibration mode. And then once it says start slowly and tells you to accelerate, um, that's when you want to start pedaling. When the accelerate comes onto the screen, make sure you're in a big enough gear to get yourself up to that speed of 21 miles an hour. And keep pedaling, it says coast. And then you'll stop and it's going to do what's called a roll down. Um, and that roll down is the test, right? That's when it does the calibration. Um, and you'll wait and it'll tell you when it's done. It usually takes eight to 10 seconds, uh, maybe, maybe 12. Uh, my first one that I did this was actually about eight and a half. Um, and then you're done after that. So we'll wait here just to kind of see what it looks like. Boom, calibration succeeded. Your new roll down time in seconds is 8.846 and you're all set. And you can go back to the home screen, get out of here and go train and connect it with anything else. All right, so let me know if you have any questions with that, um, but that's as simple as it is.